So when it comes to RAF Scampton, the government just want to fill it to the brim with illegal migrants. And as you'll know, it's a dream that they've had for quite a number of years now. And according to this article, it actually looks like they might get it off the ground. Because it says that asylum seekers are expected to arrive at RAF Scampton this summer. And I'll put some footage on screen now. I mean, it's from Flight Simulator, but you can actually see like the distance between the houses. It's essentially surrounded by a small town. And one day there could be more migrants in that town than there are the local population. And it could all start in a couple of months, which basically just means that when the local residents are like having their summer barbecues, there's gonna be illegal migrants just a few hundred feet away. And obviously it's a military base, so they like to keep it secure. They even have fences to keep you out. Like there's gonna be patrols and there's gonna be dogs and everything. Meaning that you can't go on site because obviously they're pretty big on security. But now they're inviting random people from random places inside. Yet you, whose taxes has funded all of this, you still can't go inside even if you wanted to. And it's always worth mentioning something that, to be fair, it does say in the article, is that RAF Scampton was once home to the famous Dambuster Squadron during the Second World War, and later became the home for the Red Arrows. So it's a decent part of the UK's history, and it's a pretty important place. But now it's home to Samwaristan, and just not even like not even one of the local residents was able to vote on it. And like I said, they have been trying this for a while now. So if they can get this past the line, and they can get a few migrants in, it does say that they'll start with 60. But once it's all completed, there are estimates that it could be as high as 2,000 migrants. Which I know it's 2,000, but what you gotta remember is that during the summer, we will have that on a dinghy crossing day. Like, there will be days where we're pushing almost 2,000 people coming into the UK. So even if they can fill this to the brim, well, they're gonna need a lot more. But you know what? Maybe we should give these newcomers the benefit of the doubt. Because as we saw in this video, the real problem in the UK is apparently the over 60s. Yeah, apparently they're just causing too much crime. You'll see. So, thank you for becoming one of the 31,779 subscribers. Thank you to the channel members. And thank you for checking out this very confusing video. This country has gone crazy.